pretty cool skull. Um, when I gotta get started on, brought to me like this. See all, has all its teeth. So we get that one in the maceration here in the next couple days and get it started. Alrighty, welcome back for another week on Skullman TV. It's a little hot out today, but we need that because we need to get some horns off and that's what we're here for this week. Um, everybody is always asking me on TikTok and everywhere what's the best way to get horns off. So I figured I'd do a little tutorial on my one of my ways of getting them off uh, for this week. But this is a fresh one that just came in. Just a little background so people understand it more. These will not just pop off. There is flesh and tissue underneath connective tissue that is holding these on and they continue the horn sheath here continues to grow as the ram gets older but in order to get these off we need to get the flesh that is under there pretty much we need to either rot it off cook it i don't cook i don't boil a lot of people boil them off i do not i don't recommend that you'll lose a lot of coloring and you uh, dry out the bone quite a bit so what i do is i sweat my horns so this is a fresh one, you can see it. We'll go over here and show you one that we've been working on all week on the sweating process and pretty much show you what it consists of. And then we'll show you how to start this one fresh. And for the sweating, you do need warm weather or you need somewhere with the controlled warm weather that is humid to get that bacteria growing. So we're just gonna place this ram in here, close the bag up, and we'll put it somewhere hot, which my building stays really hot. I'll put that in there later, and we'll let those horns sweat off, as we call it. That's all you need to do. This one I got out of the building the other day, a little earlier, but I got this one out of the building earlier. This is the nasty part. It's got some maggots growing in here. And literally when they're, you can get it like this, this is how easy that these will pop off. And it keeps the horns looking really nice. They don't break down bad like you do when you can macerate them sometimes which sometimes I do have to soak them and macerate them but leaves these horns looking real nice so pretty much when you sweat them you're gonna end up having maggots form and as the maggots form they're gonna get down in this horn they're gonna eat it off but you can see there's still a few down in here should be able to see but it's pretty much going to get in there and the bag is going to keep it moist because you want skulls to stay moist. The last thing you want is a dry skull because once they get dry, everything starts getting a lot harder. But keep the skull moist and especially like this will keep, I have it on these that poke through the bag, but normally I'll keep it in the bag. But as long as it stays moist, the maggots will get in there form and start eating it away. Just pulled this one out. This one here should be pretty easy. It's definitely starting. Oh yeah, I can feel it coming off pretty easy already. So, like I said, I prefer to sweat them just because then you uh, don't get as much flaking. Some of the cow horns, when you do soak them, it doesn't really affect them at all, but there's others that will flake really bad. And it's normally, I've noticed on the white, the more white colored horns, wanna flake a lot worse. So, oh, this is that one. But a lot of times, if I have horns come off with teeth, I uh, put the teeth that it came off of into the horn, especially if they're my own, because then I don't have to worry. You know, I don't want to lose teeth ever, but if I would happen to lose one of my own, it's a lot different. But that's a good spot to put some teeth while you're working. We're gonna need to get this one rehydrated. 
the dead head that was found at the ranch, but I will soak it again to finish it all up. But I always try to save as many teeth as I can. jars and then those will go in there and then I typically will give those or sell those to bone collectors and people that want stuff to practice working on this could be the one I puke on so yeah I boxed it up that's how bad Doesn't smell near as bad as it did, but it's still stinky. Oh yeah, easy as that for sweating them off. See a little bit of the nasty got on this one, but they're fine. Do you see these ones stay really, really hard? But this is definitely a nastier one. I'll go through here. I don't feel like doing it today. I'm off tomorrow from the bow shop, so I'll go through and look for the teeth that are left in that one. But I know it was missing a couple to start with whenever they brought it to me. But I always hit them. You, these ones should come off pretty easy, but you can hit them here. One thing you always want to look at is getting it loose. So a lot of times you can hit it at the base to get it loose, but then also you can kind of do this motion and it's gonna push while you do it. So sometimes the lower you get it, it's gonna pull more too. Especially if you, sometimes you hit on this right here, you're gonna get some leverage. But these should come off pretty easy, so I'm just gonna hit them right at the base. See that, move that first time, second, third, she's done. So, so I flip this over. Um, I don't want to hit them. I normally will just whack them right off and, and get them off, but cow's skulls. <laughs> That's why you did it, didn't it? <laughs> I hate you.